Right, welcome back, YouTubers. Just want to do a really quick video today. A little, couple little projects on the van I've been meaning to do, and I wanted to do it today because tomorrow and all weekend it's gonna look like this. So I figured while it's still nice out, might as well uh, get a couple things done. I noticed after I brought the van home that the windshield wipers weren't great on it. And so I looked at them a little bit closer and noticed that on the pasture side here, this part is completely separating. And so it doesn't make contact with the windshield very well. So I got some new windshield wipers for it. So we're gonna take care of those. And then the other thing, one of the things I noticed right away with this van is that the mirrors aren't great. I was kind of spoiled by my truck. My truck had these really huge tow mirrors and they had a separate section at the bottom here uh, that were adjustable and eliminated all your blind spots and everything. The van doesn't have that. So I picked up a set of these so we can do some, uh, add a blind, little blind spot mirror onto each side. So these are kind of a no name, just an Amazon brand that says Amper blind spot. Uh, nothing special about them really. But one thing you can check if you're getting something like this to make sure it's gonna be decent, you can see they actually use the brand name 3M adhesive on the back. So at least you know it's not some super cheap adhesive that's gonna fail right away. Anything with 3M should stick pretty well. So as you can see, my mirror here is pretty filthy because they've been sitting out here. The van's been sitting out here for a while now. So first thing I need to do is prep it and clean the uh, mirrors off. And usually for cleaning my windows, I'd use something like this, this Rain-X automotive glass cleaner. This is great at keeping the rain off your windshield. It leaves a nice film behind. But because of that film, it might interfere with the adhesive. So instead of using the Rain-X, I'm just gonna use some regular old Windex. Um, or this is actually not even, just like a knockoff brand of Windex window cleaner. But I'm gonna use something that does not leave a film behind because I don't want anything to uh, prevent the adhesive from sticking properly. All right, so I got these opened up now. I got my mirror all nice and clean. One thing I didn't realize about these, it's kind of cool. These are actually articulated. So the mount here can be placed at different angles depending on how you want the mirror to, to fit. So I was just playing around with this a little bit and I think I'm gonna go with this bottom corner position. I think that's gonna be the best way to give me the blind spot coverage that I need. All right, so I've got this mounted on down here where I want it. You can see this can be adjusted a little bit up and down and side to side. So I'll give it a shot the way it is, and if I need to adjust a little bit, I can always tweak it depending on what angle I need. And when you're installing something like this, one of the things that is gonna make it stay on there better is you want it to not be too cold outside. It's, it's pretty nice outside right now. It's sunny. So these things have been sitting in the sun, which means all the surfaces are pretty warm. You don't want to put it on when it's freezing cold or certainly not if it's wet out or anything like that because then that could interfere with the adhesive staying on the uh, mirror properly. So I got both sides on. I'll give that a shot next time I am going down the highway and I think it should help out a little bit with the blind spots. All right, I got my new wipers here. These are the Rain-X Latitude. These are both 22 inch blades. A lot of the cars I've had have offset blades, meaning one side is a little bit bigger than the other, uh, but this van has the same on both sides. So it makes it easy. And replacing the windshield wipers is one of those things that I think is always a good idea when you buy a used car. It's one of those 
inexpensive things you can do that helps to uh, improve your visibility and you never know how old the uh, wipers are when you buy it. So both of these just come off. There's a little retention pin here. It's a little plastic uh, spring-loaded piece. So you just pull that back and that releases off of the arm here. All right, so these are the new Rain-X blades. When I first unwrapped them, I saw this and I thought, wait a minute, do these actually have these neon yellowish blades on them? But this says, remove protective cover before use. So this is just on there to help protect the blade, which is unusual. I haven't seen that on any of the wipers that I've installed. Usually when they come out of the box, you just put them on as is. So we'll take these off of here. My guess is that these are on there because these are Rain-X blades and the rubber is treated with the rain repellent. This probably helps it, uh, helps that repellent stay on there a little bit while it's in packaging. So to put these new blades on, they have this little clip here. So you're gonna pop that open. And this part in here is what's gonna fit over the arm that sits on the car here. All right, so once this is seated all the way on there, you gotta push this back down. Yeah, that's clicked on. These wipers attach a little bit differently than most of the other ones that I've done. Usually you just get that kind of positive click as you pull this on all the way, and that's it. And there's a, to take them off, there's that little retention underneath. These ones instead use this piece. It's pretty hard to push down. There we go. So now that, that is locking it in there. So now to get these off, you'll have to pry that open. And it's a pretty tough latch to undo, which I think is done by design because you don't want these flying off if you're going 80 miles an hour down the highway. So there we go. We got nice new wipers put on. I'll try these out this weekend. It's supposed to rain in the next six days. And we got the blind spot mirrors and then coming up we should have a little bit more exciting projects to dive into the next main thing I need to do is to tackle the AV system and pull apart the roof inside remove the TV figure out which speakers are broken which speakers work and that's gonna be a whole separate project that I don't have time for yet stay tuned see you soon I've got a chance to put my new wipers to the test here on my drive home and they are great. They are night and day difference compared to the other ones. No streaks. They do a great job of clearing the windshield and they are completely quiet. I don't know if you can tell but there is no noise whatsoever from these wipers. Very happy with them. Highly recommend them. All right, I'm gonna do a little test here of my blind spot mirror. And what we should see as this Acura comes up, as it leaves, the view of my regular mirror, it's picked up in the blind spot mirror, and it was. 
so you can tell that they're positioned correctly. I've been driving with these things for a day now and very happy with them. They work great. They not only capture the side, but they capture low enough that I can actually see the parking spot lines when I'm back into a parking spot, which is helpful. So, very happy with them. I like that they're adjustable. That was a pleasant surprise. They work exactly as advertised and they do what I need them to do. And here's a shot on the passenger side. Sorry, the, uh, the window's kind of dirty. It's been raining all day. But you can see that truck gets picked up in the blind spot mirror first as I pass it, and then it becomes visible in the side view mirror. So they work very well to fill in that little gap there where you otherwise would not be able to see the vehicles next to you. Alright, that's it for now. More projects coming soon.